I'm back with another educational beauty video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a warm and cozy and very easy makeup look. It's perfect for the fall season but it also can take you through into winter too. You'll see what I mean when you see all these like warm cozy tones going on in this tutorial, you're going to love it. Also please don't forget I do have an online publication called Confessions of a Creative where we cover topics such as culture, self, health, beauty, there's a bit of everything going on, everything is very raw and authentic, I know you're going to find something that you really enjoy reading there. It's free to subscribe but we do also have a paid version too which means you get a lot more you get topics which are covered which you're not always going to see me talk about on this channel and also detailed like product reviews suggestions products that I truly truly like recommend that I've tried and tested and it's very very detailed in comparison to my YouTube channel and if you honestly feel like you get anything from this channel from me I would really really truly appreciate your support by you heading over and the paid subscription only costs roughly around a coffee a month so it's not much at all and it would mean the world to me. Plus we get a little room where we can actually say hi to each other and everything. So make sure you do say hi if you do opt for the paid subscription. Otherwise I would really appreciate you just generally heading over and subscribing. Now if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. I'm also on Instagram so please do say hi there too. Now let's head straight into this video. So as always, a fresh base, nothing on my skin. I'm going to be using my Fenty Hydro Visor Moisturizer. And just a little bit of my eye cream. That's my Drunk Elephant Sea Tango. Now I want my skin to look quite glowy, but not kind of greasy. So I am going to go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath. This shade is number six because I'm pretty bronzed at the moment. And I just apply a generous layer of this all over my skin. To be honest, even if it isn't full, I would wear this look because I love this whole warm and cozy kind of like makeup look. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Vanish Concealer in Dune. This is a little bit warmer than my usual because I am tanned, like I said. I am just gonna buff this in. Just give myself a nice clean base for my eyelids. Set that with a little bit of powder and my powder puff is super handy for this because I can just press it in and then dust off the powder with my Royal Techniques brush. And then basically my eyelids are completely set and ready for any kind of eye makeup. I'm gonna do like my whole base before I do my eye makeup because I'm not really using like eyeshadows that are gonna have a lot of fallout. So I'm quite like happy with doing my base first. I'm gonna get my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Aruba and I'm applying this with a brush. I'm not actually underpainting today because I want my kind of base to be not so, I just don't want it so heavy, even though underpainting isn't necessarily heavy. It depends on how you apply it, but I wanna just appeal to the people who maybe don't underpaint as well. So we're just gonna do this in not an underpainting way. So this is my F47 brush. And the fact that you have this Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath, honestly, it does give you a better idea of how much foundation you need because I feel like you do need a little less when you're wearing the Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath. It just somehow makes your skin look better. See, that is it and I haven't even put any concealer on yet. Now we're gonna go with some concealer and I'm gonna apply this just to my usual places. Mm, I don't think, maybe I will apply a little bit here. Okay, using my sponge, I'm just gonna kind of buff this in. Keeping it in the same areas. I am super happy with the coverage I have. So I am gonna set this now. My main thing is setting the under eyes so that I don't get that creasing that develops. So I'm just gonna make sure there are no creases on my under eye. Press in my powder, it's always the first place I do. And I really want to kind of make sure this is nicely kind of like powdered down. And then there are other areas that I'm going to do, but not like all over. So I'm really going to do around this section here. I don't like that bit being that shiny. The chin and just like kind of like up this area here. 
Right, gonna get my Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna just dust off this powder. This whole look is not just about kind of like the eye makeup. It is about the kind of kind of colors, the shades, the tones that you use for this. Now, before we move on, I am gonna be applying some other cream products. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Matchsticks in Pumpkin. This is such a nice shade for that kind of fall look. And I haven't actually applied powder on my cheekbones or my cheek area, so this is where I'm gonna be applying it. And this is gonna kind of like give us that warmth there, but also sculpt just a little bit. So where I'm gonna apply this is just kind of above the cheek, kind of like on it, but a tiny bit higher, so not like right below the cheekbone. And there you go. I'm going to use the back of a sponge and I'm just going to like really kind of like buff this in. This is going to give us some nice warmth. And if you ever feel like you've gone a little bit too heavy with your blush or whatever you're using there, once you've done it, then you can also kind of like go over with a powder, which is gonna to help to kind of like dilute it a bit as well. I wouldn't apply more foundation unless you are kind of quite well practiced in that because otherwise you may, it may end up kind of going a little bit wrong. Now to set that, I'm gonna get a little bit of powder on my brush and I'm gonna go over it. And this in itself is gonna to help to dilute it, but also kind of set it. So that color's really kind of like coming from within, coming out. Now, I'm gonna get my Fenty Sunstalker bronzer in Island Ting, and this is where we're gonna start like sculpting the face a little bit and warming up certain areas, and it's really gonna to help to kind of bring everything together. I'm gonna to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder sculpt brush, and I'm just dipping it into this bronzer, and this is where I'm gonna start kind of like sculpting the face. So I'm going from the top of the ear, I'm kind of like working my way inwards, but not too far in. That The warmth of that kind of like color that we applied on our cheeks is really helping to complement this. Now I'm gonna go along the perimeter of the face, just where I feel that I can add some warmth. Also below the jawline, same thing here. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This brush is actually part of the Laura Geller brush, which is a dual-ended blush and bronzer precision brush. I'm using the smaller side. Into that bronzer, and this is where I'm really gonna kind of like sculpt this area here. We're gonna really kind of like go into the brow bone here. This is gonna to give, to, give some shape and just bring it down on the side of the nose. See how that's a lot more defined there now? We're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna finish off that nose with my Doll 10 Doll Pro Infinite Color Eye Crayon in Vanilla Bean, one of my favorites for nose contour. Just a little line there and just a little line there. I just use my finger to kind of like pat it down and it kind of like softens it, but leaves a little bit of a highlight there, which is enough to complement the nose contour. We're gonna do my brows. This is my Zoeva 317 brush and my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number four. And what I want is like kind of soft brows. So I don't want it like too overly kind of like drawn in that it's hard not to get that with my brows because they're so sparse, but we're gonna, that's why we're using a brow pencil, just so it kind of like, not a brow pencil, a brow powder, because it just straight away, it's a lot softer than a pencil. We're gonna use a brush from my Sigma eye brush set, which by the way, you can use my discount code NinaUbi10 on, limited availability because they did completely sell out. They sold out really quickly. Like I'm so grateful, but if you, I, I would honestly suggest getting yours now so that you don't, you're not disappointed because I believe there was only one restock. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. But I would grab yours because it is an amazing eye brush set, cheaper than buying them separately. Plus you get an eye brush cleaner in there too, which is like a pad lasts forever. So I'm gonna use this shade, use my brush from there. I am going to just apply this kind of like on the, ends 
of my lash line. So I'm almost, imagine creating kind of like a thick eyeliner with your eyeshadow and a big brush in comparison to what you'd use for eyeliner. And we're gonna just paint this on all the way across the upper lash line. Don't worry if it's messy because it's such a light coloring, like what well, it should be in comparison to your skin color. Like it's not too dark against your skin color. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Really kind of go onto the lash line. Don't focus on the lid, just focus on the lash line. And then just kind of like drag it out a little bit, not so much. And this should in a very subtle way, kind of shape your eye. You can see a very kind of like subtle shape developing. We're gonna go into the shade Delicate and I'm using my E57 brush and I am gonna basically go into the crease. Focus on just applying it to the crease and you'll see how it slowly kind of like helps to just open up your eye a bit. This is why I said don't worry if that color that you first apply onto the lash line is a little bit messy because this is gonna help to kind of like almost rein it in. Now we're gonna go into hot cocoa with my pencil brush and we are gonna go into the lower lashes. Just focus on going into the root of the lash all the way across. And we're gonna take this kind of up here. Just let it kind of like drag upwards. You're kind of following your lower lash line. I'm gonna get this same color and I'm gonna press into the upper lashes, like into the upper lash line. So it's gonna kind of like just darken the lash line a bit but it's like this really nice kind of brown. Now I'm gonna go into hot cocoa, but with my other brush, which is my kind of like crease brush. And this is where we're gonna go just above the crease. Just a little bit, not a lot. And that light shade that we applied on the actual eyelid kind of breaks it up, you know, so it doesn't look so like everything is like a smudged brown. I'm happy with that, but now what I'm gonna do is go with a black. I'm using my Surat Smoky Eye Crayon, and this is really good. It's super, super easy to use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is kind of like go into my like lashes, like focus on the root. It's such an easy pencil to use. So I'm literally just kind of like feathering it into the upper lash line. and you go slightly thicker at the end. And I'm gonna use my pencil brush to just kind of flick over it, but flick it into the lashes. And then upwards and outwards here. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna take it down into the lower lashes. See the difference this makes, just applying this like really dark shade, it just gives more definition to the whole look. So same thing here, we're just gonna do exactly what we just did. Don't forget you also have 15% off Surat products with my discount code NINA15. Link will be in the description below for this product, but if you head over anything you buy from Surat with my link below, 15% off with the code NINA15. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of like take this into kind of my lower lash line, but from the top section. So like from the waterline. Let's apply some mascara. I'm gonna use my Mac Stack mascara. 
and we're really kind of like wiggling into the root of the lash and then just kind of like taking the wand upwards brushing through the lash to really kind of like make those like the root of the lash quite thick I'm gonna take that Laura Geller brush again, and I'm probably gonna use both sides of this, but this is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. This is like such a nice color if you want that kind of like really nice kind of warmth to your face. I know I've already applied bronzer, but this has more of that kind of almost, just more of a terracotta feel to it. So it just kind of finishes off the whole look because that bronzer, I applied it, it's matte. I love it because it sculpts the face. But what I do with this is right at the end, I'm just gonna kind of like see, right, okay, where else can I add some extra kind of like warmth? But I want that really subtle sheen in there, which is what this gives. You could just use one or the other, but I'm just, you know, using them both today. So I'm gonna use the larger part of this brush and just kind of like brush this into the, like, well, under the cheekbones. It's gonna really warm up the face. And then I'm gonna flip it over and just kind of like, Give a little bit more warmth here. It's almost just like a little bit of a finishing touch. So you, it's not important, but you can if you want to. I'm gonna use quite a dark lip liner, but I'm gonna smudge it after. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Foxy Brown. I'm gonna line my lips. Now I'm gonna get my finger and just smudge this lip line inwards. And then you can go side to side. And then I get my Real Techniques brush, a little bit of powder. Right, this is my MAC Taupe lipstick. I'm just gonna like dab this on. This is a really nice full shade. Now a couple of finishing steps to really kind of like just finish it off. I've got my Hollywood Flawless Filter again, putting some on the back of my hand. Get my sponge. I'm gonna press this into certain areas, like the peaks of my cheekbones. Just like certain areas that I wanna highlight. I'm also gonna take some on my finger. A little bit in the center of my lip. And then lastly, just a little bit on the center of my eyelid. Then I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Powder in yellow, and I've got my Real Techniques brush. And now I'm just gonna basically mattify just certain areas so that there's really nice depth to the face because we've got that shine in all the areas that I want it. But I'm just gonna apply this to like go under the eye area just to snatch the nose a bit there. So just that bit there. Just this area here, because I feel like sometimes we forget about this area. And it really helps to like lift the face. And that is more or less it, guys. How did we like that tutorial? What do you think of this look? It's very full. I like how it just reminds me of like hot chocolate, you know? Like we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not in winter yet, but we're, we're getting there slowly, right? So this kind of reminds, like that transition makeup look into winter, but it's perfect for fall. Plus I love the fact that you have all those kind of fall tones, but you've also got that like highlight in your skin, like your skin looks very radiant. And it's all about clever application of different textures so that you can create that depth on your face and using specific kind of tones. So yeah, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this. And I hope that this is something that you're gonna go away and try yourself too and you probably have noticed like majority of the colors that I've used more or less everything to be honest they've all been like similar tones and it's perfect for fall so I'm really excited about you guys trying this look and even just like trying out some of the products maybe you you like some of the products that I've used and you want to just kind of like use it for your own look don't forget they're all listed in my description box below and there are special discount codes so make sure you check those too I'm sending you loads of love loads of positive good vibes and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.